All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's take a look at the new Milwaukee uh, structured tool bag. It's uh, Paco compatible. It's definitely the most expensive bag they have, uh, coming at 350 Canadian, um, but by far the most well built. I've had a lot of Milwaukee bags, and uh, this one is easily my favorite. Um, it's most similar to Vito bags. Um, I say some of the main differences between this and a Vito uh, is this is pack out compatible and this does not have a five year warranty. Um, so similarly priced, except you know when you're getting a Vito, you're getting it for at least five years, guaranteed. Uh, but that being said, I don't think this is gonna fall apart anytime soon. Um, it's 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 a beautiful bag, stores stores a lot, and it's just super high quality uh in the build so let's take a look around on the outside first so obviously you can see here it's a uh, paco compatible so that's great uh I'm an, I'm an electrician so i love to have uh, a container at the bottom uh, for parts screws morettes connectors stuff like that so being able to keep that on the bottom of the bag rather than in the bag uh, is helpful you can see on the outside there's lots of uh, loops here to hang stuff on um there's different D-rings all over the place. Lots of different options there. Uh, and then right here, there's a very big, very deep pocket. Goes all the way down and it's super wide. It's wider than even the red. It goes all the way past those loops there. Uh, on this side of the bag, you can see you got a spot for your tape measure, uh, two tool pockets, and then a handle here. On this side of the bag, similar to the other side, uh, where you can uh, tie stuff to the loops there. And there is no pocket over on the front on this side. This side, I'm not a crazy big fan of uh, the way these pockets are. It's great for keeping the tools here, um, but you can see if I fill these all up, it's gonna make this handle really difficult to use. Um, this is not the tape holder that it came with. I changed that to the Vito Pro Pack style that I prefer, uh, but it did come with its own tape clip. Okay, so let's get inside the bag here. We'll start with the main tool pocket. Um, so I'll pick this up. So you can see there's a bunch of small thin pockets here. When I first saw this come out, I didn't think I was gonna be a fan, uh, but I actually love it. It makes it so I'm never gonna lose my markers and pencils and stuff, and it's a great spot for bits. I'll be filling that out really soon. Um, that's really handy. And then you have this uh, pocket that goes to the top. You can probably see my fingers there. It goes to the top of where the bits are, um, and it's see-through, so you can store many things in there. Looking in here, you have uh, some nice stretchy pockets there. I've been putting my uh, two inch bits in there because they're too small for in here. Uh, I've got a lockout tagout key up there, some extra markers. I've got a step bit, plug tester, and then there's some more on that side which I haven't even used yet. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, six pockets along the back. This one here is actually designed for a drywall saw. It's uh, plastic. Uh, so it won't rip the fabric that you have on the other spots. Uh, when I saw the pictures, I was kind of annoyed that there wasn't this style of pocket here in the middle, but it's actually, I prefer that I've found. It's great for me to put my drill there, or you can put your meter or something big that it wouldn't really fit in these pockets anyway. So it, it's good to have that versatility. And then you have your medium sized pockets two on each side, great for pliers, and then uh, smaller pockets at the front of each. Okay, let's turn around, look at the other side. It's only about half filled and it's quite heavy already, I will say that. So this side here, I'm able to fit a Brady label maker easily. I love that, um, find myself using that more often these days. Put a meter in here, got a weird tool check in there, and some Allen keys, and you still have storage down at the bottom, like I can keep some extra batteries in there, and this was just some ballast I was changing this morning. 
and then on this side here you have a super super deep pocket it does the entire panel all the way down uh, i got some gloves in there and some uh, cat five tools all as well at the back you have the same uh stretchy pockets here at the top that you did on the other side and you have two pockets on each side uh, on the inside there for smaller screws screwdrivers or whatever so yeah that's the bag uh 350 canadian like i said crazy expensive but i can't see myself getting rid of this bag anytime soon i go through a lot of bags and this is a beautiful well-designed bag the only thing i would change is maybe those pockets on the outside but the interior on both sides is well thought out and the added functionality of being able to clip it on top of your rolling um, pack out box or uh, throwing stuff underneath for uh, extra storage is great um, so yeah check it out another hit from milwaukee just my god that sticker price like and subscribe please thank you